Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 21st of january the session will be really important so do pay attention till the end let's start as usual friends with our revision part first is kostub chatterjee kostub chatterjee he was the 78th grandmaster of India all right highly important and he won this in the this title in the 59th national senior chess championship next next is fight world rapid and blitz championship for 2022 in this Koneru Hampi has won India's first silver medal at the world blitz championship all right India's first medal and that was silver medal at the world blitz championship all right and it was won by whom? It was won by Koneru Hampi. And this particular event, where was this held? This was held in Almaty, Kazakhstan. Next, which country has recently joined Schengen Zone and switches to Euro currency by giving up their Kuno? It will be your Croatia. All right, Croatia has switched to Euro and has joined the open border Schengen Zone. Next, Goa's chief minister, they have launched Purple Fest logo in order for inclusion. Then, if we are talking about Goa Saujo Festival and Nationals, uh, National Museum for Custom and GST. Then, Haryana government has launched Trees Outside Forest in India Toffee Program. World's first Vedic clock to be installed in Ujjain. Cochin Shipyard has partnered with IIT Madras to support maritime startups. IIT Hyderabad has developed affordable fiber reinforced concrete. PM Modi has unveiled the logo theme website of India's G20 presidency and theme is what? Vesudev Kutumbakam. AIM, that is your Atal Innovation Mission, has launched women centric challenges Atal at all uh, under the Atal New India Challenge, that is ANIC program. Reliance to set to acquire Metro Cash and carry India in rupees 4060 crore rupees deal. Kaveri South Wildlife Sanctuary has notified the 17th Wildlife Sanctuary of Tamil Nadu. Next, Sark Charter Day. When do we observe this day? It is on 8th of December that we observe Sark Charter Day. Next, 
who has been named as the person of the year that is time magazine's person of the year for 2022 he will be the president of ukraine vladimir zelensky all right i repeat time magazine's 2022 person of the year as you can see him on the cover page of this book time magazine he will be vladimir zelensky and he is the president of ukraine next make in odisha conclave in order to boost the manufacturing and in order to boost the smes and msmes in the particular state of odisha this particular make in odisha conclave was held and this will be basically attracting the investment that is the global investment similar to this was a similar kind of investment drive only that was launched or that has been launched by uttar pradesh global investment summit all right and this is going to be held in the month of feb the coming feb in 2023 and it will be in lucknow uttar pradesh next uttarakhand government has appointed prasoon joshi as its brand ambassador all right earlier rishabh pant was appointed but we know rishabh pant also got injured uh, last to last month in an accident and this uh, as you can see here prasoon joshi he has been now appointed as the brand ambassador of uttarakhand government next sydney mcloughlin and armand duplantis they have been named as the world athlete of the year both you can see here next austra hind austra hind is the name of the joint military exercise that was held between india and australia as the name suggests austra from australia and hind is your india so this austra hind exercise where was this held this exercise was held in rajasthan all right austra hind 2020 So friends these were your important current affairs for revision now let's move to the important current affairs of the day first first we are talking about indian port association and research and information system for developing countries has recently signed a memorandum of understanding and this a memorandum of understanding between this ip that is indian port association and research and information system for developing countries this memorandum of agreement not memorandum of understanding basically it is a memorandum of agreement that was signed for a maritime economy and connectivity i repeat in order to set up a maritime economy and connectivity this memorandum of agreement was signed between the two apart from this remember this memorandum of agreement was signed in the presence of sarbanda sonowal who is a union minister of ports shipping and waterways this proposed project of the transshipment port basically what will be the advantage of this this will be very advantageous for us as the bay of bengal initiative for the mult bimstech nation as you will be able to easily transport goods from one location to another in the bimstech nation union minister stated that the ria should offer its expertise in policy formulation and support the implementation of the policy decisions by the government of india so it was your ipa that is indian ports association and ris that is your research and information systems for developing countries they have signed this memorandum of agreement in order to set up a center for maritime economy and connectivity next next we are talking about cyclone 1 exercise cyclone 1 this exercise cyclone 1 this was an inaugural Indian Egypt Joint Special Force Training Exercise that was held in Rajasthan. So this was between India and Egypt. And inaugural means that was the first edition. That means this was held for the first time. Exercise Cyclone One, the first edition of the joint exercise between the Special Forces of Indian Army and Egyptian Army is being held in Rajasthan. And in Rajasthan too, where this exercise is being held. it is in jaisalmer it is in jaisalmer all right and this exercise is held basically to boost defense cooperation between india and egypt this is a 14 day long exercise all right and it is conducted being conducted since 14th of january 2023 next remember cyclone 1 this was planned to be held in jodhpur rajasthan that was earlier planned to be held in jodhpur rajasthan from 8th 
to 22nd of January last year, but it was postponed. Next, what is the capital of Egypt? Cairo. It is the uh, capital of Egypt. Next, next is IREDA, that is your Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency, recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, and this was to set an annual performance target for the year 22-23. The MOU was signed by Pradeep Kumar Das, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of IREDA, and Bhupinder Singh Bhalla, who is the Secretary of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. So, IREDA signed a Memorandum of Understanding with MNRE. Alright. Also remember, for the year 22-23, the government of India has set a target of 3,361 crore rupees for revenue from operations with an increase of 18% from the previous year. Government of India has also set up a number of performance-related key indicators including return on net worth, return on capital employed, the ratio of non-performing assets to total loans, assets turnover ratio, and earnings per share among others. If we talk about IREDA, who is the chairman and managing director here? Pradeep Kumar Das. And when was this established? It was in 1987. This was established and it has a motto that is energy for ever. Next, government of India has switched bonds maturing in 2024 with RBI in cash natural deal, in cash neutral deal. All right. It is government of India that has been conducting conversion switch operations with market participants as well as the Reserve Bank of India in order to streamline its liability profile and promote the market development. All right. Also, Government of India entered into a switch transaction with RBI on 17th of January, that is settlement on 18th as a part of the operations. The government has bought back 6.18% bonds maturing in 2024 worth 22,610 crore rupees at a price of 98.62 and it issued a 8.28% 2032 bonds to the RBI worth 21,000 crore rupees at a price of 106 rupees. The transaction was processed using financial benchmarks India Private Limited price as of January 16, 2020. Three. Next, next is LIC. LIC has guaranteed return on life insurance plan that is Jeevan Azad. I repeat, recently, RB LIC has launched a guaranteed return life insurance plan that is Jeevan Azad plan. All right, I repeat, this plan is the 868th number plan of LIC, a new non linked non-participating plan designed for individual savings and life insurance. The plan offers an attractive combination of protection and savings. Here, LIC Jeevan Azad is a limited period payment down payment plan that provides financial support to the family in the case of the untimely death of the life assured during the policy term and also addresses liquidity requirements through a loan facility. Here, the survivor will also get a guaranteed lump sum amount on the maturity date and these conditions are subject to some conditions. The plan also offers participants the option of receiving death or maturity benefits in installments. If we talk about this Jeevan Azad plan, the key features here, the minimum basic sum assured is of 2 lakh rupees here, while the maximum is of 5 lakh rupees. There will be no medical checkup for the amount assured of up to 3 lakh rupees while it is needed for a sum assured of above 3 lakh rupees. The policy can be purchased for a minimum of 15 years and a maximum of 20 years with the premium paying term determined as the policy term minus 8 years. The minimum entry age here is 90 days completed while the maximum entry age is of 50 years. All right. Then if we talk about LIC, who is the chairperson here? M. Rab Rama, M. Rama Subramaniam Kumarji is the current chairperson. 
इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड वेर इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ एल आई सी इट इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज पेटेल पेटेल हैज पार्टनर्ड विद एच बी एच डी बी फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज टू ऑफर लोन्स फॉर लाइफ स्टाइल प्रोडक्ट आई रिपीट पेटेल कॉमर्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हैज पार्टनर्ड विद एच डी बी फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज लिमिटेड एंड दिस इज बेसिकली टू प्रोवाइड लोन्स ऑन लाइफ स्टाइल प्रोडक्ट सच एज बाइसिकल्स इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स मोबाइल डिवाइसिज कंज्यूमर ड्यूरेबल्स एंड किचन एप्लीकेशंस सो क्वेश्चन विल बी डायरेक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड लोन फॉर लाइफ स्टाइल प्रोडक्ट विच टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन केम टूगेदर इट इज योर पेटेल दैट इज पार्टनर्ड विद एच डी बी द लोन अमाउंट वेरीज फ्रॉम फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज टू थ्री लैख रुपीज एंड इट प्रोवाइड्स अ ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ इक्वेटेड मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट पीरियड बेस्ड ऑन द अमाउंट बोरोड एंड द प्रोडक्ट सेगमेंट द कस्टमर्स विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द पार्टनरशिप बाइल रिसीविंग इंस्टेंट डिजिटल फाइनेंस फॉर ई स्टोर परचेजेज एज वेल एज द ऑप्शन टू पे फॉर द प्रोडक्ट इन ईजी इंस्टॉलमेंट्स एंड दिस वुड ऑल्सो एनेबल रिटेल ओवर एटी फाइव थाउजेंड स्टोर अक्रॉस इंडिया टू क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर क्रॉस सेलिंग एंड सेटिंग अप देयर सेलिंग और सेटिंग एंड अप देयर सेलिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट दैट मीन नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दैट विल बी सेल विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज विद दिस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज अबाउट योर अवार्ड्स एंड रिकॉग्निशन रिसेंटली ब्रांड गार्डियंस इंडेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज रिलीज एंड इन दिस अंबानी हैज टॉप द इन अमंग इंडियंस एंड सेकेंड ग्लोबली दैट मीन्स इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया अंबानी हैज सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन एंड ग्लोबली हैज सिक्योर द सेकेंड पोजिशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ब्रांड फाइनेंस ब्रांड गार्डियनशिप इंडेक्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी The chairman of Reliance Industries Limited has ranked number one among the Indians and second globally with a brand guardianship index score of eighty one point seven. All right, and if we are talking about globally, who secured the first position? He will be Jensen Huang. Jensen Huang is the president and chief executive officer of tech leader that is Nvidia. All right, Nvidia is a chip maker, and he was secure uh, ranked number one on the brand guardianship index for 2023. Then Satya Nadella, the chief executive officer of Microsoft, he was secured on the third position. Shantanu Narayan of Adobe on the fourth position, and Sundar Pichai of Google on the fifth position. Next, next member, Doctor Sandhuk Ruit, as you can see him in the picture. He is a Rion Nepali ophthalmologist, and he has recently won the ISA award for service to humanity. That is a top civilian award in Bahrain. I repeat, Doctor Sandhuk Ruit, a Rion Nepali ophthalmologist, who is a ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist is basically a person who treats disorders and disease of the eyes. All right, he is an op ophthalmologist. So recently, Dr. Sandhu Kruet, a Rion Nepali ophthalmologist, has won the ISA award for the service to humanity. All right, and he has recently awarded with this top civilian award of in Bahrain. He has been declared the fifth laureate of 2021-22 of the ISA award for his work on blindness prevention and his service to the community and his achievements. This award carries a cash prize of one million US dollar, a certi a certificate of merit, and a golden medallion. The award was presented by Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, a royal family member, to Dr. Sandhuk Ruit at a award announcement ceremony that was held in Manama, Bahrain. If we talk about this ISA award. Remember the ISA Award for Service to Humanity. It was established in the year two thousand nine by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of Bahrain. Every two years, an expert jury team selects individuals or organizations to receive the ISA Award after a rigorous selection process. The name, the award is named in honor of the Sheikh Isa bin Sam Salman Al Khalifa, the former King of Bahrain. The honorary award has been presented since the year two thousand thirteen. All right. Next, next we are talking about Gigi. 
जी जी आई ए एल दिस वॉट इज जी जी आई ए एल एंड वॉट वाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमेंबर रिसेंटली ऑन एटीन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री न्यू गोवा मनोहर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट आई रिपीट न्यू गोवा मनोहर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट दैट वॉज फॉर्मली नोन एज मोपा इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट नाउ इट हैज बीन नेम बिहाइंड द आफ्टर द मनोहर लाल जी हु इज द फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ हु वॉज द फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गोवा सो रिसेंटली इट हैज बीन नेम्ड एज द मोपा इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट हैज बीन नेम्ड एज न्यू गोवा मनोहर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट रिसेंटली रिमेंबर दिस एयरपोर्ट ओनली द न्यू मनोहर गोवा न्यू गोवा मनोहर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट हैज वन द बेस्ट सस्टेनेबल ग्रीन फील्ड एयरपोर्ट अवार्ड और राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट दिस मोपा इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट दैट वॉज नाउ न्यू नाउ न्यून एज न्यू गोवा मनोहर इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट हैज वन द बेस्ट सस्टेनेबल ग्रीन फील्ड एयरपोर्ट अवार्ड फॉर द एक्सिलेंट इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाय द जी एम आर गोवा इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड इन इंप्लीमेंटिंग सस्टेनेबिलिटी एज वन ऑफ द की concept the award was presented at the association chambers of commerce and industry of india that is asochams 14th international conference come award for civil aviation 2023 at hotel leela palace in new delhi ggiel received the award under the aviation sustainability and environment category all right apart from this remember who presented this award this Award was presented by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya ji. All right, mark this also. Question can be asked that who presented this award? It was presented by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya ji. Next, next is your ESAF Bank. ESAF Small Finance Bank has won the prestigious Inclusive Finance India Award for 2022 in recognition of its contributions to advancing the goal of financial inclusion and supporting inclusive growth. I repeat, ESAF Small Finance Bank has won the prestigious Inclusive Finance India Award 2022 in recognition of its contribution to advancing the goal of financial inclusion and supporting inclusive growth. Here, Paul Thomas, who is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of ESAF Small Finance Bank, has received the award from Anantha Nageshwaram, who is the Chief Economic Advisor. at the 19th inclusive finance india summit that was held in new delhi the inclusive finance india award is an initiative of the access development services in partnership with hsbc india the award recognizes the esaf's unique spectrum of financial inclusion projects esaf dhanshri esaf udyog jyoti lsedp that is local sustainable economic development project esaf bala jyoti esaf Vayu Jyoti and ESF Garsha. All right. Next, next is EESL CEO Vishal Kapoor has assumed the additional charge as the CEO of CESL. I repeat, the Chief Executive Officer of Energy Efficient Service Limited, Vishal Kapoor, has assumed the additional charge as the CEO of Convergence Energy Service Limited, that is CESL, that is the subsidiary of state-owned. EESL he will succeed whom he will succeed the CESL's managing director and chief executive officer Mohua Acharya who resigned from the post on 1st of December 2022 Vishal Kapoor has joined EESL in November 2022 before which he served as the joint secretary in the ministry of power all right and he led various government intervention schemes such as reforms in the power distribution sector next Next is Tata Boeing Aerospace has delivered the first fuelage for six AH-64 Apache helicopters to Indian Army. I repeat, Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited, that is a joint venture between Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Boeing Company, has delivered their first fuelage for six fuelage for six AH-64. Apache attack helicopters that were ordered by Indian Army. This first fuelage, which is the primary body of an aircraft, was officially handed over to the Lieutenant General Ajay Kumar Suri, who is the Director General and Colonel Commandant of Army Aviation, before being dispatched by TBAL to Arizona in the U.S. for final assembly. 
द अपाचे अटैक द अपाचे अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर इज रिगार्डेड एज द वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट एडवांस्ड एंड डेडलीस अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर विद ओवर 1275 एच 64 अपाचेज इन ऑपरेशंस वर्ल्ड वाइड ग्लोबली दीज हेलीकॉप्टर्स हैव कंप्लीटेड ओवर 4.9 मिलियन फ्लाइट आर्स एंड 1.3 मिलियन ऑफ विच हैव बीन इन कॉम्बैक्ट ट्रेनिंग If we talk about TASL, that is your Tata Advanced Systems Limited. It is a leading private player in aerospace and defence solutions in India. This is fully owned subsidiary of Tata Sons and a strategic aerospace and defence division, ah, uh, defence division of the Tata Group. Who is the managing director and chief executive officer of Tata Systems, Tata Aeros, ah, uh, Tata Advanced Systems Limited. So, managing director and CEO is. Sukaran Singh and he it was founded in the year 2007 Moving on to next news next is a tripartite agreement is signed between UCSL Department of Fisheries and five fishermen uh, SSGs to build advanced fishing vessel what is this SSGs these are your self help groups so remember tripartite agreement means three organization or three uh, P, uh organizations are there first is your remember udupi cochin ship building uh, shipyard limited all right udupi cochin shipyard limited first this is a wholly owned subsidiary of cochin shipyards limited next next is your department of fisheries and then five fishermen self help groups these three organizations came together to sign a tripartite agreement all right highly important this Tripartite agreement was signed in order to construct ten deep sea tuna long liner come grill netting fish vessel. I repeat, these three organizations came together to sign a tripartite agreement to construct ten deep sea tuna long liner come grill netter fishing vessel. The outlay of these advanced fishing vessels will be fourteen crore rupees. all right and if we talk about this udupi uh cochin shipyard limited this is from karnataka then department of fisheries is kerala and five self help groups these are from kerala only and they will be developing this 10 deep sea tuna long liner come gill netter fishing vessel and the cost here will be of around 14 crore for these vessels the vessel is of 22 Point seven meter in length and six point four meter of breadth with a capacity of twelve persons and can achieve a maximum of eight knots. Knots is basically the speed in water. Then IIT Guwahati has signed a memorandum of understanding with Amtron and RCH to foster the drone technology in northeast India. I repeat. Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati Assam has signed a memorandum of understanding with Assam Electronics Development Corporation Limited that is Amtron and RC Hobitech Solutions Private Limited to improve and advance drone based technology in the northeast India the MOU was signed between professor Parmeshwaram K Iyer the officiating director at IIT Guwahati S Sundar IFS managing director of Amtron and Biswajit De the co-founder of RCH This MOU will cover research and development and manufacturing for varied sectors such as agriculture, disaster management, wildlife conservation, and health care. All right. Also, the members of the IIT Guwahati Drone Center and Technology Incubation Hub will play a key role in this effort for the greater good of the region. The MOU will also support professional training programs in the use of drones that will provide a variety of services including drone based survey and mapping. Moving on to next news. Next is related to environment. New plateau housing for 76 species of plants and shrubs has been discovered in Maharashtra. Agarkar Research Institute that is led by Dr. Mandar Dattar has discovered a rare low altitude basalt plateau housing 76 species of plants and shrubs from 24 different families in manjare village in thane district of maharashtra in northern western ghats the region is being studied by ari in pune maharashtra 
द डिस्कवर्ड प्लेट्यूब कैन प्रूव टू बी अ रेपोजिटरी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर स्पीशीज इंटरेक्शन दिस विल हेल्प अस टू स्टडी द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज ऑन स्पीशीज सर्वाइवल एंड इंक्रीज अवेयरनेस ऑफ द कंजर्वेशन नीड्स ऑफ रॉक आउटक्रॉप एंड देयर इमेंस बायोडाइवर्सिटी वैल्यू इन द ग्लोबल कंटेक्सट और राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज ज्ञान पिट विनिंग असमी पोएट हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे एंड ही इज नीलमनी फूकन जी एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर ज्ञान पिट वनिंग ज्ञान पिट विनिंग असमी इज पोएट हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे ही इज नीलमनी फूकन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट हिम ही वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री इन डेरेगांव दैट इज इन असम और राइट ही पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ एटी नाइन and where was he born uh, from which state he was from assam all right then remember nilmani fukun started his career as a lecturer in 1964 at r a vidyapith college that is in guwahati and he continued there till his retirement in 1992 next he has been awarded with sahitya academy award all right in 1981 then he was also awarded with the fourth highest civilian award that is padma shri in 1990 all right and in 2002 all he was he has received this sahitya academy fellowship that is the highest literary honor in india given by sahitya academy and in 2020 in 2020 he won the 56th gyanpeet award that is the highest literary award and he was the third recipient of gyanpeet from assam after birendra kumar bhattacharya and mamoni raisom goswami ji next next remember next we are talking about union ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare has approved apple cluster for jammu and kashmir's shopian i repeat recently Union Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare approved apple cluster for the Shopian district of Jammu and Kashmir under the cluster development program. The approval was announced during a day long conference on the India Cold Chain Conclave. This was organized by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare in association with the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry and National Center for Cold Chain Development in New Delhi. The apple cluster of this Shopian envision the development of shopian apple on three verticals including pre production production post harvest management and value addition and logistics marketing and branding making it globally competitive the project estimated cost is of around 135.23 crore rupees out of which the ministry of agriculture and welfare will contribute around 37 crore rupees as a grant in aid and it is expected to be implemented in the next four Yes. So remember this apple cluster where this will be set up in Jammu and Kashmir's Shopian district. So that's all for the day, friends. Now let's go for a quick revision. IPA and RIA signed a memorandum of agreement to set up Center for Maritime Economy and Connectivity. Cyclone one, the inaugural Indo-Egypt Joint Special Force Training Exercise, will be held in Rajasthan. IREDA and MNRE has signed a memorandum of understanding for setting performance target for 22-23. Government of India switches bond maturing in 2024 with RBI in cash neutral in cash neutral deal. Three key takeaways from RBI's report on state government budget. Then LIC has launched guaranteed return life insurance plan that is Jeevan Azad. Paytel has partnered with HDB Financial Services to offer loans for lifestyle products. Next is Brand Guardianship Index 2023. Ambani has topped the Indians and second globally. Bahrain ISA Award for Service to Humanity 2023 was awarded to Dr. Sandhu Kruet of Nepal, declared as the fifth laureate for this Bahrain ISA Award. GGIEL the new Goa Manohar International Airport has won the best sustainable greenfield airport award ESAF bank has bagged inclusive finance india award 2022 EESL CEO Vishal Kapoor has assumed the additional charge as the CEO of CESL Tata Boeing Aerospace delivers the first fuselage for 6 AH64 Apache helicopters to Indian army 
ट्राईपाइटाइट एग्रीमेंट साइंड बिटवीन यू सी एस एल एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिशरीज एंड फाइव फिशरमैन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स टू बिल्ड एडवांस फिशिंग वेसल आई आई टी गुवाहाटी साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद एमट्रॉन एंड आर सी एच टू फॉस्टर ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया न्यू प्लेट्यू हाउसिंग सेवेंटी सिक्स स्पीशीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड शर्ब्स डिस्कवर्ड इन महाराष्ट्र ज्ञानपीठ विनिंग असमी पोएट नीलमणि फूकन हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर हैज अप्रूव एप्पल क्लस्टर फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर शॉपियन डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर होमवर्क फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द थीम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मीटिंग सेकेंड विच इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज रिलीज द रिपोर्ट टाइटल सर्वाइवल ऑफ द रिचेस्ट थर्ड वरुणा इज अ बायोलिटल नेवी एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड विच कंट्री फोर्थ विच स्टेट यूनियन टेरेटरी पुलिस लॉन्च द साइबर कांग्रेस इनिशिएटिव एफ पी जी ए विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज एसोसिएटेड विद विच इंडस्ट्री सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द असाइनमेंट ऑल यू हैव टू डू नाउ इज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड कमेंट बिलो एंड लेट एस नो वॉट आर योर व्यूज ऑन सच सेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट एस टू कंटिन्यू विद सच सेशन लेट एस नो इन द कमेंट सेशन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे थैंक यू एंड हैव अस डे दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू एंजॉय द सेशन एंड यू कैन फॉलो अस ऑन द YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue